The road to WrestleMania continues. What's up, WWE Universe? This is your boy Nick here, and tonight I reveal my predictions for the final SmackDown pay-per-view on the road to WrestleMania known as Fastlane. And it is pre presented by Tap Out Men's Body Spray, available in the fragrance aisle at Walmart. And we, we would also like to send a, send a special thanks to Sir for Lean Back, the official theme of WWE Fastlane. It is available on iTunes and Spotify. All right, guys. Um, all right, guys. We're gonna kick kick things off with a match that was that was that that in which Naomi issued a challenge to Natalia um, on SmackDown Live, as Naomi wanted to team up with Becky Lynch to take on Carmella and Natalia. Now, if the match does take place, um, I I gotta go with Naomi and Becky Lynch. You know, just because. Just because of the experience factor that, that that they have, and also because, well, they're Naomi and Naomi and Becky Lynch. They're they're a part of the Royal Glow Fire, so no doubt that Becky Lynch and Naomi will take out Carmella and Natalia. All right, guys. From from there, we move on to Rusev versus Shinsuke Nakamura. Now, earlier tonight on SmackDown Live, um. Shinsuke Nakamura was was in a promo segment where, um, where he uh, where he was gonna tell tell the world that he wanted that he wants wants AJ Styles to retain the WWE Championship, which I'll get to a, a, which I'll get to a little bit later on. Um, but uh, Rusev came in, Rusev in English, and Rusev just instantly issued a challenge to Nakamura. And Nakamura accepted, so yeah. Honestly, I'm gonna, you know what? I'm, you know what? I'm, I'm gonna say it, Nakamura. Just because, again, with the experience factor that Nakamura has, just yeah. I mean, Shinsuke is awesome. You know, he's the best in ring performer of this or any generation, just like AJ Styles, and um, you know, and. No doubt Nakamura is going to take win, so yeah. Alright guys, from there we move on to a to the SmackDown Women's Championship as Charlotte Flair will defend the SmackDown Women's Championship against Ruby Riot. Now obviously the Riot Squad will be at ringside, um, but, um, but no doubt that the odds are definitely in stacked. Stacked against Charlotte Flair, but no, but Charlotte can do it. I think I think Charlotte Flair is gonna pull it off. You know, you know, only because ever since the Ryan Squad debuted, after like literally like right after like right after Survivor Series, you know, all they've done is just run run ramp shot throughout the entire SmackDown, uh, throughout the entire SmackDown Women's Division. You know, and 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 I mean, I get it. I mean, I get it. They're trying to make a name name for themselves. You know. You know that's what everyone does, and I don't blame them. But for for them to make a name for themselves against Charlotte, a uh, big mistake. My opinion, big mistake. So I'm gonna go with Charlotte on on this one. You know, you know, again, you know, you know, she's got she's got more experience than than Ruby. Um, you know, she has more athletics. She's more. Athletic, if you will, than than Ruby. You know, I just everything about her, she's better than Ruby. So definitely, Charlotte Flair. All right, guys. From there, we move on to the United States Championship as the glorious Bobby Roode defends the championship against the Viper Randy Orton. Now, this is the first time in his 16-year career that Randy Orton has had a shot at the United States Championship. It's the one title that has looted his career, career the most. He's won. He's won the WWE Championship. He's won the World Heavyweight Championship. The, the, he's won the Tag Team Titles. He's won Royal Rumble, Money in the Bank, and, and, of course, and of course also the Intercontinental Title. But the United States title is the one thing that has eluded his career the most. And I think, and in this case, you know, and in this case, Randy, you know, you know both these superstars have, have a lot to prove, you know? You know, for Bobby... You know he wants to prove that John Cena's U.S. Open Challenge. You know, you know, you know, Bobby Roode wants to continue the U.S. Open Challenge that that John Cena made 
when he became U.S. champion back in 2015. You know, and with with Randy Orton, if he be, if he wins the United States Championship, you know, it'll be the one. You know, he'll be a Grand Slam winner. You know, and that's very rare for a, for a superstar to do. So, but you know what? In in this case, it's too it's too it's too too hard to call. So, I mean, we'll I mean we'll see what what happens on Sunday. All right, you guys. Now we move on to the SmackDown Tag Team Titles as the Usos defend the titles against the New Day. Yes, the rivalry continues. Now this whole thing started like literally year, like, like literally when 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 the New Day came to SmackDown Live. You know, they you know they they wanted to become tag team champions. You know, after losing the Raw Tag Titles to the bar a while back, you know, they wanted to be back on top, and they did, they became SmackDown Tag Team Champions a couple of times, and the right ends, we all thought that the rivalry would end at, back in, back in, back in October, yeah, yeah, back in, back in October at Hell in a Cell, when the Usos defeated the New Day to become five-time SmackDown Tag Team, to, to become the five-time Tag team champions, you know, and but obvious, but obviously we we were wrong. We knew that the rivalry would happen once again. We just did not know when. And yes, it will continue this Sunday. Now these are two of the most decorated tag teams in WWE in the last ten years. Um, you know, you know. You know the Usos and, and and the New Day. You know they've been going at it for years. You know they've been. Um, you know they've been through through hell through hell and high water. You know they've been they've been through it all. But at the end of the day, it's all about respect. You know you know and they you know and these two teams have a lot of had a lot have a lot of respect for each other. But I'm but you know what honestly I'm going with. The Usos, you know, you know, you know, just because they have, just because of the fact that, not, not, not just because, because of, of their bloodline, but just because what they can do in the ring, no one can do it better than, than the Usos, so, yeah. Alright, you guys, now we move on to the WWE Championship, as the phenomenal AJ Styles will defend the title against Kevin Owens, Sami Zayn, Baron Corbin, Dolph Ziggler, and yes, John Cena. Now last week on Smack now last week on SmackDown Live, John Cena um, battled AJ Styles, where if Cena won, he would be in Fast Lane this Sunday. And indeed he did win. And and this whole thing basically started with AJ Styles, pretty much started with Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn, you know, when he Got involved in, in in the rivalry between Owens and between Owens and Zayn against against Shane and Daniel Bryan. You know, he just was got 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 in the middle of it, and you know, and you know, at back at back at the Royal Rumble a couple months ago, you know, AJ Styles defied the odds and to, and defeated Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn, and he he retained the title. But this Sunday, he's the 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 odds are not in his favor. You know, because under six pack challenge rules, the champion doesn't have to be pinned, or some, or or has to be made to tap out to lose the WWE title. So, de so ob so obviously AJ Styles has a lot of work to do this Sunday. But if anyone can pull it off and become WWE champion, it is indeed AJ Styles. All right, guys. Well, that is it for the fast lane predictions. Thank you guys so much for watching. And be and remember to post in the comments below using the hashtag WWE Fastlane, letting me know your predictions on who's going to be winning their ma their respective matches on on Sunday, and be sure to smash that like button if you enjoy the video, and remember to subscribe and bell me for more WWE and Yu-Gi-Oh opening videos. And on that, this is your boy Nick here signing out.